subject of the psychotropic drug withdrawal. How you doing? How's, how's it um, going? Um, it's, it's not yeah. pleasant. It's kind of difficult. But listening to you, there's a lot of things I don't experience. I'm not sleeping well. Um, I have serotonin hype nearly all the time because of the withdrawal. You have Besides, serotonin what? Say that again, serotonin. I would say it hyped. I mean, it's stimulated okay. in a lot of ways. Okay. You mentioned deep breathing. Okay. 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 Um, is there anything else I can do for that other than can I talk to my body and say, okay, you know, yeah. there's yeah, no okay. tiger around, you know, yes. so you calm yes. down? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But this, uh, your body thinks there's a tiger around for a lot of reasons. First of all, there may be a tiger around, not really a tiger, but there may be some kind of emergency. So you want to make sure that everything is, there's no real emergency going on. Serotonin is a vigilance hormone. And I almost say it's an emergency hormone. But it's a hormone that keeps you alert. Too much serotonin can cause hyper alertness or hyper vigilance. That's why people who are on serotonin reuptake inhibitors are, uh, it's associated, uh, serotonin reuptake inhibitors like Prozac and Zoloft and Effexor and those type of drugs are associated with, with suicidal behavior and, and violent behaviors and kids that shoot up schools oftentimes are on these kinds of drugs and, you know, people who go postal, as they say, are on these, are oftentimes on these types of drugs. They become hyper Vigilant. You know what I mean by hypervigilant? Hyper aware. They become oh, yeah. pa- paranoia is a type of hypervigilance, and this is what ser- too much serotonin will do. It's actually called serotonin syndrome, and serotonin syndrome is associated with a whole bunch of problems. And you may be experiencing. There's a good possibility you may be experiencing some of that serotonin syndrome, and it may be because there's something going on in your environment that you need to be aware of. Usually, however, it's biochemical, and that means something is getting into your body that's causing this kind of hypervigilant. Response that's causing a serotonin levels to serotonin to become activated, I should say. So the most likely suspect is going to be food. Most serotonin is in the digestive system. Ninety percent or more of the serotonin in the body is not in the brain. It's in the ser- it's in the digestive system. That's because that's the main place where the enemy gets into the body. So the first thing to do with if you're experiencing any issues with serotonin, and by the way, do you have uh, any kind of gas or bowel movement problems or diarrhea, loose stools, anything like that? Um, you're the one that's been helping me with that. I am having bowel movements every day, and so far I think I've cleared out three months' worth in two weeks. <laughs> okay, good. Well, that's, that's a good thing. All right, so that's a good thing. We don't want, we won't, don't want that stuff backing up. In any case, in any case uh, if, as far as your uh, serotonin, as far as serotonin levels go, the best thing you could do is calm the body down. Yes, talking to the body is a great thing to do. Uh, self-talk is really, really important. Important. Even if you're not literally talking to your body, not that there's anything wrong with talking to your body. You know, our body, our, our organs, our liver, our intestine, our heart, our lungs never get any love, never get any attention. We don't ever say, when was the last time most of us thanked our liver for all the hundreds and uh, thousands of different chemical reactions that occur in the liver or our digestive system for processing our food? How many of us thanked our hearts or our, 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 our uh, thyroids or our lungs or any other parts of our body? So, yes, indeed, talking to your organs and talking to your body can be very helpful. But self talk is also important. We all have this little voice in our head. And for the most part, the little voice, or a lot of times, I don't want to be presumptuous here, a lot of times the little voice in our head says how lousy things are. And it's a survival mechanism to protect us. But it doesn't serve us in the long run to have negative self-talk. So positive self-talk is absolutely important. We don't talk about emotions and the emotional and mental aspect of health and wellness on this program a lot, but it's important to recognize. So, yes, positive self-talk is an important way of stabilizing serotonin and stress hormones and emergency hormones. So your point's well taken. But I'd be focusing on foods, number one. And I'd be focusing especially on toxic, on uh, foods that are uh, things that are getting into the digestive system that are toxic, and not just in terms of chemicals in food, but sugar. Too much sugar in the blood can be a, a type of toxin and can have a toxic effect. So making sure that you're not eating a lot of uh, foods that get broken down into sugar or straight sugar, fructose, for example, f- uh, fruit juice, soda pop, desserts, those kinds of foods can put a serotonin burden on the body. Making sure you're eating more protein as opposed to eating carbohydrates or foods that get broken down into sugars, refined carbohydrates and processed carbohydrates and straight sugars. So eating more protein can have a very important stabilizing effect. Your ultimate essential fatty acids can also have an important stabilizing effect. Minerals like zinc and uh, magnesium, those can also have an important uh, serotonin stabilizing effect. Vitamin A and vitamin E can be important. 20,000 international units of vitamin A, 400 international units of vitamin E. 
and you might want to use your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, sip on that throughout the day. So all of these are wonderful nutritional strategies for helping keep your uh, stabilize the serotonin system. Deep breathing, of course, is always important. Uh, using your, your BioBreathing app or your uh, My Calm Beat app, or you don't even need the apps, really. You can just sit on the couch and practice slow, deep breathing. And I said slow. That's really important when it comes to deep breathing. Super slow in through the nose, super slow out through the nose, maybe somewhere along the lines of 15 seconds in, 16 or 17 seconds out. That's 30 seconds for a little over 30 seconds per breath. That's two breaths a minute. And most of us can't even do that. So shoot for doing two breaths a minute, inhales and exhales, making sure it's slowly in through the nose, slowly out through the nose as well. Lots of great strategies there for the serotonin, for helping stabilize serotonin if that's the case. And this is very important when you're coming off of Prozac or coming off of a so-called serotonin reuptake inhibitor type of drug. It's very, very important to keep yourself from going into that serotonin syndrome to help quiet the body down. It's always beneficial to quiet the body down, no matter what your health challenge Challenges, even if you don't have a health challenge, we do our best work. Our body does its best work in a calm, relaxed state when the so-called parasympathetic nervous system is kicking in, when it's active. That's when we do our best work. So keeping the body calm is very, very important, especially if you've got brain issues, migraine, headache issues, or suicidal ideation, or any of those kinds of things, uh, a manic depressive disorder, or bipolar disorder. All of these benefit from kind of keeping the body quiet, epilepsy, seizures. Any mental health issues or brain health issues will benefit by using these calming techniques, calming, relaxing techniques, and using using nutritional supplements as well. Hope that helps. Did you did you have a, a specific question, Cindy? Yeah, I had that, a specific. I'll, if you want to do it. Yeah, we got to we got to take our break. So hang on, we'll we'll come back to you. We come back from our break. If you're on hold, hang tight. We we'll try to get to all our calls today. I um, might have to go a little fast to do it, but we're going to get to all our calls today. So uh, hang on. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, the dead doctors don't lie guy. There's no reason why you shouldn't live to be at least 100 and have a great time getting there. And I'm going to give you a free copy of my lecture that tells you exactly how to do it. In fact, after you've lived a long and healthy life, there should be only two documents in your medical chart, a birth certificate and a death certificate. I'm Dr. Wallach with a warning. If you have a four-inch medical chart, if you take prescription drugs for high cholesterol, high blood pressure, arthritis, joint pains, and other health issues, the medical profession is failing you. They're using you for an ATM machine. My free lecture is going to reveal what pharmaceutical companies don't want you to know. There's been groundbreaking research and discovery on how to effectively treat or eliminate over 900 different diseases naturally. It's all in my free lecture called Deadly Recipe. So call toll-free 1-855-79-YOUNG. Again, that's toll-free 1-855-79-YOUNG. 1-855-79-YOUNG. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Whoa! This is big! Not just big, it's the Freeze Dry Guys Giant Factory Authorized Sale. This month, save 30 to 45% off on number 10 cans of high quality Mountain House freeze dried foods from the Freeze Dry Guy. Factory fresh stock just arrived, so now is the time to stock up with the finest, best tasting, longest proven shelf life foods in the industry at giant savings of 30 to 45% off. But hurry, supplies are limited to only the stock we have on hand. Call 866 404 3663. 
Free shipping to the lower 48 states. Click freezedryguide.com or call 866-404-3663. That's freezedryguide.com. Hurry, the giant factory authorized Mountain House sale is going on now. Only from the Freeze Dry Guy. The finest freeze-dried and dehydrated foods available anywhere for long-term storage. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. Welcome back to the bright side. Cindy, you want to go real fast here, want you? Uh, what do you? I am. What, how can we help? The you? doctors have put me on Kepra XL. It's 750 milligrams. I take three at bedtime for migraines. Okay. Uh, for migraines, they gave it to you. For, for migraines, yes. Okay. Um, can I just? Stop that? Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you that. You're because the doctors. You're working with a doctor, so you got to work with the doctor on your on weaning yourself off. It's not a great idea to take Keppra. Keppra is a seizure. Well, it's a brain drug. They do use it for migraines. It's also a seizure type of a seizure type of medication. Everything is telling me that your body, th- the way you're describing your symptoms, Cindy, that your body still thinks that there's an emergency going on. That's what a migraine headache is. You got to figure out. Why does your body feel like there's an emergency? Do you understand what I'm saying? I do understand. Okay, so it almost always has to do with food. It can also have a blood sugar connection. It may have a low low oxygen connection, a low blood oxygen. But the first thing to do is always food. Now, I'm assuming there's no real tigers at your door. So there's not a real emergency going on. There's no real emergency going on. Okay. So then focus on food first. Do Do a fast. Fast for two days. And then start to introduce foods. And if you can't do a complete fast, do a sip on your BTT or maybe do lemon juice or maybe the bone, uh, some bone soup. But take all load off of your body and then reintroduce things back, starting with the things you love the most or you eat the most. And you'll probably notice that something that you're doing all the time is getting into your body. Something you're eating all the time is getting into your body and causing this emergency response. So migraine headaches, seizures, your SSRIs, your constipation, almost everything you're talking about is a sign of a body in distress you got to figure out what is distru- what what is this distress about what is burdening or freaking your body out and as i say almost always it's going to be a food component there's probably a blood sugar component and an oxygen component too but focus on food first get on the biolumin nightly essence start using probiotics and as i say it would it sure wouldn't hurt you if you can do a one or two day fast and then reintroduce foods back into your diet and also the migraine headaches if you can link the migraine headaches to specific Specific foods, if you notice there are specific foods that trigger those, that's a really good clue to foods that are causing a, a digestive, a stuff that's getting into the digestive system that's causing this kind of emergency response. Okay, Cindy, I've got to let you go because I've got a bunch of calls to get to. Yeah. Thanks so much for your call. appreciate it very much. And if I can help you some more, give us a call back. Thanks, Cindy. Okay, let's go to Tara in North Carolina. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, Tara? Hey, what's going on? Hi, too. <laughs> oh, hey. That's your baby? Yeah, Harmony. Baby Harmony? Baby Harmony? Yeah. How's Baby Harmony doing? Well, she's doing good overall. I was just calling in because um, what you talked about Friday um, with the skin and a whole bunch of other things. I can't remember. Okay. But I wrote some notes down, and I was wondering if there's anything I could do supplement-wise to help her skin because um, we've been going outside to get the vitamin D. We try yeah. to go out every day. Good for and you. So she's darker, you know. She's um, getting a little tan. Baby. Yeah. Okay. And um, so, but I've noticed where her lesions are and around her lesions, 
she has the whiteness. So I was White? wondering if that she has whiteness, yeah, like like yeah, like, yeah, like um, pigment loss. She's got some pigment loss. Now she, now she has some digestive his, history, digestive problems, doesn't she? 